hello friends welcome to cadence tutorial i am madan kumarja and today in this video i am going to explain about five stage ring oscillator so how to design a five stage ring oscillator in cadence virtue so i will explain so first go to file then in new then in cell view uh, in library cadence tutorial you have to create a cell so i am giving its name five stage or ring oscillators ring oscillator okay then okay so it will open the workspace of a cadence now in this workspace you have to design a five stage ring oscillator so uh, you can do it using two ways uh, first is you have to design the schematic of whole ring oscillator in this workspace and the second you can do this by instantiating the inverter okay so in previous video i have already explained how to design the symbol of an inverter so i will suggest you to go and watch this in this video i am going to instance that inverter and uh, then i will explain how this ring oscillator work so you already know that for designing a ring oscillator uh, you have to use the odd number of inverter okay so either three stage ring oscillator five stage or seven stage and vice versa okay so i am going to design five stage ring oscillator so for that i am going to instance the inverter so press i then go to cadence tutorial library in this library i have designed my inverter so i am going to instantiate it so hide this okay since i am designing five stages so i have to use five inverter okay now connect the output of first to input of second output of second to input of third and vice versa so press w then using wire you should connect this okay so now i have to give the supply voltage vdd and ground so i am going to instance vdc so in analog library you will find dc voltage source so analog lab then go to vdc here dc voltage should be 1.8 volt sorry 1.1 volt uh, 1.8 volt because i am working on gptk 180 nanometer okay so 1.8 volt now hide this press i then in analog library you will get ground so select the ground then use it here also here here Okay. Now press I. Then again, in cell view you will get VDD. So select this VDD. Hide this. It will connect the VDD of inverter with the VDD of DC source using a invisible wire. Okay. So this terminal, this all are connected with this. Okay. So this is the schematic of a five stage ring oscillator. Now I have to see its output, waveform, and frequency. So you can use a capacitor here for changing the capacitor, changing the frequency of this inverter. I will show it in later section. So press I 
in analog library you will find p capacitor so p capacitor parasitic capacitor is refer to p capacitor now i am going to make this capacitor variable so only using uh, so give its name to c not to any value so this will be a variable capacitor this time then hide this use it here then press then copy the ground c and use it here copy this ground again so the negative terminal of capacitor so one terminal of capacitor is connected with ground the another should be connected with this wire okay and uh, since it is a ring oscillator so for it it stage it should be symmetric so the value of capacitance should be same everywhere otherwise it will uh, oscillate but the width of the oscillation or the frequency will not same every time okay so you should uh, give a fixed value to this capacitance if you use the any particular value here okay but actually i have made this variable and all variable value is same because i have copied this all okay so when i will change the va value of this variable in adl window then everywhere that value will be assigned to this capacitance the, that capacitance value should be assigned okay uh, okay so everything is fine then i'm going to create a pin where it will be output type here there is no input pin required because this is a ring oscillator so there is not requirement of input pin then in output section output pin you have to give the name like out hide use it here so r r using r you can rotate f okay then press w connect this okay now check and save this schematic go to launch then in adel here Uh, in transient analysis give transient time to one microsecond then moderate then ok in output section right click then go to edit then from design you have to check the output so press so click on this output pin then press ok now after uh, setting the analysis and output section you have to select that design variable you have created in a schematic so basically the c is the variable so here right click on this design variable section then copy from cell view you can get the variable name here so this is c now uh, this time I am giving one picofarad value to this capacitance. Okay, then actually I want to see the output frequency of this node, this output, uh, this output uh, section. So for that, go to tools, then in calculator, uh, click on BT. Okay then after clicking on bt you should go to design that is schematic design then select the output node okay so now you will get see it will come here so bt out okay then in function panel search for frequency so here you will get frequency 
now click on this setting okay so send buffer expression to ad output so it will go to that ad output section okay so press this then you will see in ade windows here frequency of output this expression also come okay now one setup is also then close this okay now one setup is more required here go to simulation and then in convergence aid you have to give the initial condition okay so go to initial condition and then you have to give a initial node voltage to this ring oscillator okay so since i inverter invert the voltage so here i am giving the node voltage to this input to zero okay so okay so i have type here zero then i have to go to design and select the net to which i want to give the initial condition so when if i will give the uh, initial voltage of this node to zero volt then the output since it is an inverter so when i am giving input logic zero it will convert it this node to logic high then this to logic zero this to logic high this to logic zero this to logic high okay and vice versa so i have select the initial condition of this node this wire as zero okay then press okay here okay so everything is correct now go to setup then model libraries uh, there is only zptk 180 nanometer have checked so no need to worry press ok then run the simulation here you can see this is the output ok so this is the output of a ring oscillator so this is this output is always oscillating in nature okay i'm going to change the uh, to medium and uh, style to solid okay so you can see clearly this is the oscillating output okay so this is the characteristics of a uh, ring oscillator now i am going to see you the output frequency of this ring oscillator is here 36.4275 megahertz okay so the output frequency is here 36.4275 megahertz if you will change the uh, capacitance of this ring oscillator so close this close this again if you want to change the frequency of this ring oscillator you have to change the capacitance okay so this time it is 36.4275 megahertz so remember this i am going to change the value of this capacitance to 10 picofarad again okay so the value everywhere the value of this capacitance will be changed to 10 picofarad okay now go and run this So now you can see this is the output of this ring oscillator. Okay. Now the when I have changed the capacitance to 10 picofarad, the output of this capacitance, the output frequency of this ring oscillator have changed to 3.6 megahertz, which have previously 36 approximately 36 megahertz okay this time it is 3.6 megahertz so you can change the frequency of this ring oscillator by changing the value of capacitance okay so this is all about the ring oscillator uh, there are also one oscillator which is known as voltage controlled oscillator so i will explain all about voltage uh, controlled oscillator in later video um, what is the advantage of that voltage control oscillator that by adjusting the input voltage you can change the output 
frequency okay output frequency of the that voltage oscillator but here you cannot give any input voltage to this ring oscillator because this uh, only the uh, i can change the frequency i can change the capacitance of the ring oscillator here okay and uh, by changing the capacitance i can change the output frequency but i cannot give any input voltage to this ring oscillator okay so this is the disadvantage you can tell but uh, uh, everything is fine so uh, in later video i will explain about the voltage control oscillator so thank you for today